And I'm back now to talk more about Jerry Sandusky. So, Mr. Ziegler, let me just get this straight. Now, you don't dispute that Jerry Sandusky abused boys in the shower, and this boy in particular in the shower, right? You Jerry, Jerry Sandusky, as I said in the previous segment, had his day in court. Joe Paterno never did. That's always been my focus. I believe in the beginning... He's also my question. Answer my question. I'm, you don't dispute that he abused boys in the shower. The evidence is there. He was convicted. Okay. I have no problem Do you know with why that. Joe Paterno was fired? Um, he was allegedly fi- fired for not protecting the very boy whose, at, whose interview I'm holding in my hands saying right. the day he got fired that there was nothing, Let me no remind, reason to protect him. Let me remind you, the board found that while Paterno fulfilled a legal obligation to, to tell his superiors that an employee claimed to Dusky abused a young boy in a shower, right. they said Paterno should have done more, right? It was a failure of leadership by Coach Paterno. But everything we thought we knew was false. In other words, Mr. Ziegler, <laughs> Joe Paterno did know that Sandusky no, he, was abusing boys no, in the he show. Did not. Well, clearly he did. That's well, why he was fired. Well, 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 so you're believing the Penn State Board of Trustees wet their pants in the face of this media onslaught, this rush to judgment, where everything we there, thought there was a media knew. onslaught. Yeah, I know you're big was, on media conspiracies. Was, it's not and you tried to drag, you tried to drag me into it. So let me make my position yeah. crystal clear to you. Yeah. Jerry Sandusky is one of the worst okay, predatory pedophiles I've seen in a very I'm long not time. About, we Joe Paterno, that. We Joe Paterno knew he and was how doing do you know stuff. That? How do you boys. know that, Pierre? Because he reported it to the board. We know this. But, but you, you don't even, you know nothing about this case. I know you won Celebrity Apprentice, so you must be really smart. Why are you being so offensive? Because, but you know nothing about this case. Is it because you've had a whole day case? now on the back foot on this? On the back foot? Mm-hmm. You, you, you seem to think that this is a commercial endeavor. This is not a commercial endeavor. How much money I you make you zero. from it? Zero. I couldn't care less about that. You don't make any money? I'm, I'm trying to fix this. This is an Did you make any money from NBC? No. Absolutely. In fact, we didn't even pursue trying to... You're not making a single money. penny. Not a single penny. Your motivation Joe, seems to be to clear Joe Paterno, right? I'm trying to figure out what the truth of this matter is. Is that your motivation? Is your mo- Please stop idiot. being such an idiot. An idiot? <laughs> okay, because I want to find out what It's just being offensive for the sake of it. No, Let me just read right. you a statement from the Paterno family, no. because... So you believe Scott Paterno? Can I read a, fa- a family statement? Right. So, On behalf so of the so man, you say you are trying to clear his name, I'm right? trying to find the truth. So let me read a statement yeah. from the family. Right. The Paterno family would prefer to remain silent on this matter, but they think it's important to make it clear they have no role in obtaining or releasing this recording. Moreover, they believe that any attempt to use this recording as a defence of Joe Paterno is misguided and inappropriate. So that's the words of his family. Right, so they on, don't want you doing this. So, so on the record, then, Nobody you, believe, you, that, you believe that Scott Paterno was credible and therefore you must not believe in the company. You're now right? attacking Paterno's family no, whilst no, trying to no, claim his Joe Paterno's You, you apparently believe that Scott is Paterno that doing? is credible. You're not attacking you're, his you're, family. You're, no, you're saying that Scott Paterno is credible, so I'm saying if you said Scott Paterno doesn't believe this in a cover-up. This is on behalf of the family. Do you believe in a cover-up? On behalf of the Paterno family. Do you believe family? in a cover-up? There's so, a cover-up. So they but say there's no cover-up. The only so cover-up was cover-up? by Jerry Sandusky yeah, it, and Joe Paterno. There, there's no That's evidence why he that got Joe fired. Paterno was part of a cover-up. Joe Paterno got fired. Yeah, there's of no course he of, knew that Sandusky <laughs> was doing things because, he shouldn't be doing. So because... He may not have known the whole scale of it, but he knew damn well Sandusky was having naked how showers with these boys. That? That's an incredible charge. That's why he got fired. But the, so you're saying that because he got fired, that inherently means why are you that so he was guilty? To make these victims go through more pain. That's exactly my motivation. Why? Right. I'm trying to. But that's the, that's the only thing no. that is happening as a result no, of your fight. I'm trying to figure really. Calling the victims liars, trying to, figure trying out to what smear their name here, trying to I, minimize, I'm not calling any trying to minimize liars. what he did. I am not calling any. In fact, I'm calling the victims truth tellers. Victim two is telling the truth here and is still telling the truth. I believe victim two is probably abused. It is not changing his story. He's changing his interpretation of events. Stop lying about me. I have never said the victims are lying. That would be ridiculous. So the only my only agenda here is to find out what happened. You guys in the media didn't do a good job of that. You bought into a narrative that makes no sense and for which there's no a courtroom truth. convicted uh, so, Sandusky but not of pedophilia and the never board of Penn State fired Paterno because they for a had, lack of leadership. Because they which had, by any definition, had, Joe Paterno failed those boys. Everything he failed the boys in his charge. No, he did not. Yes, he and did. He did exactly the right thing. If he had done any more, he would have been criticized for that. And everything we thought... If he'd done any more to stop Sandusky over years of abusing boys... No, that was happening, oh, and there's no evidence. 
There's, there's no evidence that you ever a conspiracy. There's no conspiracy here. This is everyone acting in their own self-interest, throwing an old man who died soon after this happened under the bus to protect themselves, including the Penn State Board of Trustees. And by the way, everything we thought we knew on November 9, 2011, when the board made that decision, is false. Mike McQuarrie never said he saw a rape, that he never told Joe Paterno about a rape, and I believe that a rape that night probably never occurred. What do you think did occur then? I believe that Jerry Sandusky and the victim say almost exactly the same thing occurred. What is Sandusky which was an inappropriate action that, that, that Penn State took action on and made sure his employer, which by the way was no right. longer Penn State, just to clarify, his employer knew about it and they knew who the boy was. In between the shrieking, just to clarify, you don't disagree that Sandusky abused the boy. How many times do we need to go through this? I couldn't care less about that at this point. He had his day in court. Is this that difficult a concept for you, Pierce? I mean, you've won Celebrity Apprentice. You're an incredibly smart guy. I would think you'd be able to understand the difference between defending Joe Paterno's legacy and whether or not he was actually Nobody guilty. wants you to defend and Joe Paterno's legacy. His own family, you don't. his own family don't want you to do this. Yeah, because, and then, Joe because, Paterno's family don't want you doing this. Scott Paterno, the you're only right, not purpose, doing this. The only purpose of doing this is to try and make Sandusky look a bit better than he is. Give yeah. him a chance to carry on tormenting these poor kids with his jocular, horrible you, little tapes. You with decided to have me on to play the clips. You're the one. I don't have the ability to go to, to a huge broadcast on CNN. Because you've made a movie out of this. You decided, let's play Jerry Sandusky. Right. You're the one that's tormenting these kids, allegedly, which I don't believe is happening. We're trying to get to the truth, but you're the one tormenting them by your own definition, Beers. And, and please, will you please admit there was no cover-up here? What you said on the night of the Sandusky verdict was wrong. Of course there was a cover-up. That's why Joe Paterno got fired. Yeah, there was... That's not, that was not even the allegation! Joe Paterno was, knew you that Sandusky about this was case. behaving utterly inappropriately towards that's, these young boys. Even if that was true, long even if that was true, that's not And it was a disgraceful dereliction of his duties. Could you explain... An utterly disgraceful Could you explain to me why he testified the way he did? Could you explain to me why he testified the way he did or why he allowed Mike McQuarrie to testify the way he did? Let me bring in somebody else who knows all about this. Your CNN correspondent, Sarah Gannon, who won a 2012... Well, it's surprised by the coverage of the Sandusky story. Sarah, you've heard this rather dispiriting interview I've been trying to conduct here. Uh, what is your take on what Mr. Ziegler's been saying? You know, Pierce, here's the deal. I sat through that trial every single day. I listened to all of those men, including Mike McQuarrie, testify. And at the end of the day, the jury believed them, every single one of them, including Mike McQuarrie. They believed that he saw well, something inappropriate true. in that shower. That's not true. Something Jerry's inappropriate. Gonna, they convicted you know, him on Sarah, one she count. Pull surprises. Let <laughs> she, her finish. She, 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 she got a pull of surprises. Let, the let her finish what she wants to say, Mr. Ziegler. They convicted him on one you. count of so I was recently right. so touching Sarah, a boy in the shower. Please. So I was right. Sarah, continue. I'm sorry. I think that the only thing we should be focusing on at this point is helping those victims, helping all victims of sexual abuse, and helping society understand how we can learn from this tragedy, how we can move forward, how we can protect the next group of kids and the next, and protect people, protect our children from people like Jerry Sandusky. And I think that what he's talking about right now, what his agenda is, has absolutely nothing to do with that. Uh, what about your agenda? Why don't we explain what people, how she got her Pulitzer Prize? She was the mouthpiece. Hey, you know what? You know what, Mr. Ziegler? I don't want to hear any more from you. Did you uh, Sarah, about the case. congratulations again on your stunning reporting that won the Pulitzer Prize. Stunning, stunning. And to you, Mr. Ziegler, I would take the Paterno family's advice and just disappear.